what a joke. An absolute fucking joke, right? It's been a long time since I've done a rant, right? I, I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. What a fucking shambles, right? Fucking shit. We've made them little scummy fucks beat us like that, right? 90 fucking ninth minute, whatever the fuck it was, right? The scummy little bastards will be fucking wank themselves off silly all fucking night, man. I actually can't fucking believe it. I can't believe it. We've lost in that matter. I really, I really can't. And that's Everton, that's Everton staying up. That's, that's it. Newcastle are mathematically safe. I'm not saying we are going to go down, but... Fucking shit. Absolutely shite. I didn't even think we played well. We, were, we, were, we only looked out of reach in the first half because how bad Everton were. They were shit the whole game, Everton. And their fans will admit that. Everyone on the commentary team said that, right? How shit they were all game. But when you get a win like that, it changes seasons. Happening at Newcastle at Leeds. Beat Leeds 1-0 with a scrappy win. What happened when on a nine-game unbeaten run? Right? It happens in football, right? Did I, did I think we deserve to lose the game? Absolutely not. But I just think... The way that the way that the way the team just just died out towards the end of the game. There's fucking there was no passion in there whatsoever. No passion whatsoever towards the end of the game. There was fucking out. There was absolutely out. The only players on that pitch who can hold their head up fucking high is Joel Linton, Bruno, Dan Byrne, Fabi Shaw, and that and that that probably is it. What the fuck's happened to Maximin? Everyone bigging him up. Right, he is my favourite player. He's been fucking shit in recent weeks, and something needs to be fucking done about it. We've got this bit of a time off, right? Fucking use it because performing like that against Everton, who are 17th in the league still, is fucking embarrassing. And it is. You, you do not let a team who's won two games in 20, not scored in seven hours in the Premier League, perform like that against you. Because they they grafted their arse off. They fought for every second ball, Everton. Did Newcastle? No. no nothing whatsoever. And it, we, can't, we, can't, we can't blame anything but ourselves. We can't blame the ref like the Chelsea win because the ref was on our side all game. Everton got really lucky with the ref. I'm not, I'm not here to speak bullshit, mate. That referee was on our side. The red card, everything, he was on our side the whole game. So you can't be blaming that but ourselves. I think the goal was absolutely diabolical. Fucking maxi. Right, you, you, when you're approaching the fucking ball, when the ball's approaching you, right, you've, in, in the Premier League especially, you have got to know there's a man there, right? When do you ever get a bit of time in the Premier League on the ball? Fucking never, right? So make yourself look big and strong and hold the fucking ball up and don't dive around the floor like some fucking little pansy, because that's what fucking happens. They get the ball, one, two, pass, and Wobie's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he slots it in the bottom corner. It fucking happens. You've got to make yourself look big in, situ in, in, in situations like that, and he fucking didn't, right? For Chris, what the deal was fucking awful from the first to the last minute he was fucking shit right all the memes about chuck that ball in the box and all the memes about the fucking fat bird fucking slamming her head off this fucking bus stop right where the fuck's that passion from chris wood fucking none of that mate he was fucking shit all game the only player i said bruno joe linton fabi shaw and dan Byrne are the only people that can hold the head up high that's it rest of them fucking shit it really was is that, has that been a bit harsh? Fuck nas. We need this break, we need a bit of time off and we'll go again against Spurs away. Fucking shit.